friends welcome back let's continue with the dynamic scheduling algorithm in the previous video i explained about the thomas law's algorithm the concept of thomas law's algorithm and the uh, i had taken an example so now let's coming to the another type of the dynamic scheduling algorithm that is the scoreboard scoreboarding okay so uh, in this video i'll just explain what exactly the scoreboarding is and uh, what is the structure of this uh, the processor structure and the requirements of the scoreboarding and the components that are present here in the next exam uh, next video i'll take the example on scoreboarding okay so the cds scoreboarding so here uh, it consisting of let me write this uh, instruction fetch let's take f instruction fetch whenever the instruction is fetch it's try to start decoding a decode let's take d instruction fetch so after fetching it start decoding after decoding it has to issue so issue i okay so now it consisting of this core boarding is consisting of multiple functional units a multiple functional units for execution execute e execute e so like that a multiple functional units for or that execute so let me write this block diagram execute e execute e execute e and finally it is write back the result write back the result and here the scoreboarding is there a scoreboarding technique which is used for is a dynamic scheduling it issues and trying to execute the instructions so here a multiple functional units appears as multiple execution pipeline so these are all uh, arranged in a pipeline manner so multiple function unit appeared as multiple execution units pipeline so the parallel units allows the instructions so it is trying to allow the instructions to complete out of original program order the processor had instruction buffer and for each execution unit for whatever the in, uh, each execution unit and instruction buffers are holding in the cds core body so instructions are issued to available functional units regardless of whether the register input data are available or not so it doesn't bother about whether the register input data are available or not the instructions are issued available functional units and to control the correct routing of data between the execution units between the execution unit and registers of the cds cdc used a centralized control unit known as a scoreboarding so this scoreboarding is the centralized control unit you call it as a centralized centralized control unit so what it is doing to control the correct routing of data between the execution units and registers so between the these registers and the execution unit between the execution uh, units and the registers so whether the routing is the uh, routing of data between these execution units are going correctly or not or monitored by this control unit uh, control unit you call it generally call it as a scoreboarding okay the score boarding kept track of register needed by instruction waiting for various function let me write that point the score boarding kept track of registers for what needed by instructions waiting for various functional units for various functional units so when all registers have valid data scoreboard enables the instruction execution so whenever a functional unit finishes its signals whatever the function it is that it finishes its signals scoreboard to release the resources so now the scoreboard is a centralized control this scoreboard is a centralized control logic which keeps track of status of registers and 
multiple functional units. So the main aim of this scoreboard here is it is uh, keep tracks of the status of the registers and the multiple functional units. So this scoreboarding is generally consisting of three parts. So what are the three parts? The three parts it's consisting of one is the instruction status. Instruction status. Okay. It indicates four steps uh, the instructions in it. And next is functional unit status. Functional unit status. So this functional unit indicates the uh, it indicates the status of the functional units. It consisting of total nine fields will be present. Let me write. It consisting of nine fields, and this instruction status is consist indicates four steps. The instructions in it, okay, and it consisting of the nine fields uh, for each functional unit. For each functional unit, like busy. OP is for operation to perform in a unit like addition or subtraction and consisting of FI which is a destination register we generally use to call it destination registers. FJ and FK usually call it as a source registers. Source register numbers and QJ and QK. QJ and QK are nothing but the functional units producing source registers. Producing source registers of fj and fk and some more registers like rj and rk are there these are called as a flags indicating uh, indicating when fj fk are available indicating when fj and fk are available so it fj F, rj rk indicating that fj fk are available or not and if suppose these values are not available this functional unit is producing source registers just providing source registers whenever it is the data is available the value will be occupied in the fj fk and this flag registers are reset okay and one more uh, part in the scoreboard that is the register result status so this register result status indicates which functional unit will write each register if one exists. So the blank means when no pending instructions will write that register. Blank when no pending registers will write that register. So these are the three parts of the scoreboard. So in the next video I will explain uh, with an example then you get the clarity on what exactly the scoreboard is performing the steps and you can also find the difference between the Thomas laws and the scoreboard. Uh, so after explaining the example, I will explain the difference between the Thomas laws and the scoreboard. Then you get the clarity on what is the main difference between these two. I will tell one thing. So the uh, Thomas laws will take only the three uh, instructions like the issue uh, execute and the write back and whereas uh, the scoreboard will take uh, the issue it is issuing the commands okay and then register operand the four stages that i am saying that the four stages of the scoreboard here is issue let me write four stages are there issue read operand or read operand execute and write back the result. So this is for scoreboard. And for Thomas Law's three stages. Only three stages for Thomas Law. The Thomas Law's algorithm is consisting of only issue, execute and write back. It doesn't have read operand. Okay. So in the next video we will see the example of the scoreboarding. Thank you.